Hello friends, welcome to governmentjobspreparation.com. My name is Preeti and today I'm going to teach you squares, right? First of all, you need to learn all the square roots from 1 to 30 at least, right? So that it will become very easy to solve any questions for you. I have written some questions on the, on the board. So first is 25. I I hope everybody knows what the square of 25, that is 625. Let's see how it comes, right? The number which contains 5 at the end. The number which contains 5 at the end, that case is very special. Like 25 has 5 at the end, 55 has 5 at the end and 95 has 5 at the end, so on, right? So what is special in this case? Let's see. See, 5. This is 5. 5 into 5? 25. 5 into 5 is 25. And now this 2. Multiply this 2 with the number which comes after it. So what comes after 2? That is 3. 2 into 3 is 6. Right? In next case, 5. 5 into 5 is 25. And what comes after 6? Oh, sorry, what comes after 5? That is 6. So, 5 into 6 is equal to 30. So this is an answer, right? Now, what is the square root of 5? That is 25. And what comes after 9? That is 10. When we multiply 9 with 10, we get 90. And this is the answer, right? But now this number doesn't contain, this number doesn't contain 5 at the end. So what we do? <coughs> Excuse me. For this type of number, we have a small formula that is a square. 2ab and b square. This 5 is a, this 4 is b. Right? So, square of 5 is 25. 2ab, 2 into 5 into 4. 5 into 4 is equal to 20. 20 into 2 is equal to 40. And what is the square of b? That is 16. See, so, always we start from the end. What is the last number? That is 6. Now, add this 1 in this number. It becomes 1. Now, this 4 add in this number. It becomes 9. And this 2 is a So, this is an answer. Right? The square of 54 is 29. 116, right? <clears throat> now, this series numbers are very important. Learn it carefully, right? So, I'm leaving this for a moment. Let's start with this. This 104, all you need to do, all you need to do is add this 4 to the entire number, right? Uh, this number is this, right? 104 is equal to 100 plus 4, right? So what you have to do is add this 4 with this, with the entire number. That is what you get. When you add this 4 with the entire number, you get 108 and then what is the square of this number that is 16 and this is an answer right now all you need to all you need to do is add with this number 7 to the entire number when you add this 7 with the whole number with this entire number when you add 7 107 plus 7 is equal to 114, 
right? And next step is, what is the square of this number? That is 49. This is an answer, right? Now, this case, now take the number, this two number. We have to take this last number, right? What is the square? Sorry, when we add this 12 from the whole number, it means when we add 12 on the whole number, what we get? We get 124, right? And what is the square of 1? What is the square of 12? That is, we know that is 144, right? But 12 is, 112 is what? That is 100 plus 12, okay? It means after these three numbers, three, after these three digits, we can put only two numbers here, right? But this number contains three digits. So what we do, we put this number here and this number here and this one will here. This one will, we will add in this four, right? So what is the answer? One, two, five, four. Four, right? So this is an answer. Now come to this E. Ninety-six into ninety-six. Now in this portion we could see this is hundred plus four, but this is this number is hundred minus four, right? So minus this 4 from this number, it means subtract 4 from 96, what we get? We get 92, right? Now the square of this number, square of this number, which we have sub subtracted from 100 and from 96, what is the square of 4? That is 16. So what is the answer? 9, 2, 6, 1. If you practice all the portion, it will become very easy for you. Now it will take some time for you to solve these portion. But when you, but, but, but once you practice all the portions, you will get trained and it will get very easy for you. Okay. So keep watching all the videos, keep practicing, keep watching and keep learning. Thank you so much.